Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now, after roughly six months of waiting, we finally received our Helium indoor hotspot from Culchip, the model RAK V2 or RAK V2. And in this video, I'm gonna unbox that thing with you so you know what you get when you also decide to pick them for your first Helium hotspot. I want to point out that the whole order process and everything was straightforward. However, the delivery time was way beyond what I originally expected. And on top of that, we had a kinder hiccup along the way, which I'm going to share with you as well. So you know what to potentially expect when you place your order. Before we get to that, however, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, what is Culchip, what is the Rock V2, what is the Helium Network, then I recommend that you click on the card up here and start by watching my original Helium Network review so you know why I was willing to wait roughly six months to basically get my hand onto this and why you might want to consider getting one of those things too. Now let's quickly talk about my experience ordering the Culchip hotspot. Obviously ordering it was quite easy and in fact if you also want to go that way you can find a link and a coupon code in the description down below to give you I think a 3% discount or so on your order. However, don't expect your hotspot to appear within a week or two because even right now Culchip still has a huge order backlog. In fact, there's a high chance that right now you cannot even order it at all, but you can just join a waiting list and every day around 250 people will then be able to order their RUG V2 Helium hotspot from Culchip. Luckily enough for me, that was not a problem back in January. So I just visited the website, placed my order and paid $351.14. So that's $299.99 for the hotspot plus shipping to the US and taxes. Now, since I use the forwarding service for the package from the US to actually get it to us, you might now consider that my six months delivery time or almost six months, let's say five and a half, is actually longer than it should be because I also consider the time of the forwarding service. Well, that's not true. I actually only consider the time from placing the order until it was delivered or handed over to the forwarding service, not considering the one or two weeks it took from the forwarding service in the US to actually get the package to us. So if you place an order, can you also expect that it will take almost six months for you to receive your hotspot? I honestly don't know because Culchip is still drowning in orders so it might take some time before you're even able to place an order and even once you're able to place an order until that order actually gets shipped. However, the important thing is we finally received our hotspot. During the time we waited for the hotspot, the Helium network grew from roughly 18,000 users to more than 120,000 hotspots online. But we are now or soon going to be among those users as well, so I'm not going to complain about that. Now, last but not least, before we rip open that box, I also want to talk about my experience with the Culchip customer service. The thing that happened to us and which was the reason why I had to reach out to the customer service in the first place was that Culchip basically offered their shipping calculator where you can pick your location, so US, Europe or otherwhere, and then basically enter your order number and it would tell you, okay, your hotspot will be shipped in August or your hotspot has been shipped or the order has been completed. And during the week where our hotspot was supposed to be shipped and the status switched to completed, I did not receive a shipping notification. So I wrote an email to the customer service and basically waited, I think it was a week, maybe it was two weeks, but I waited quite a long time to get a reply from them, which then simply mentioned, well, we noticed that you have a US delivery address, but with a European frequency minor ordered, uh, should we send you a US one instead? So I think on one hand it's good that they held back the order because it didn't make sense to them. Why would I order a European frequency hotspot to the US? On the other hand, that would only be good if they actually would proactively write an email to me and say, oh, dear Mr. Rauchenwald, we noticed that you have a US delivery address, but you picked the European frequency hotspot. Should we ship it or should we ship a US frequency hotspot instead? That, however, unfortunately wasn't the case. Only once I figured out that our hotspot should have already been delivered and reached out to them and waited another week for a reply, did I get their first message about this holdback reason or issue or what whatever you want to call it. And only after I told them in another reply from my side that I wanted the European hotspot because we're using a forwarding service, did they eventually actually ship the hotspot. And one thing that really annoys me is that I did not receive another reply from the customer service at all. So something along the lines, thanks for letting us know, we will ship your European frequency hotspot to your US delivery address ASAP. 
and provide you with the tracking number. No, eventually roughly, I don't know, a week or 10 days later, I really would have to check, but again, it was more than just a few days. I received the shipping notification and the hotspot was in route. Now the rest is history. We have the hotspot box here right now. And with that, we actually get to the fun part to the unboxing. As you can see, the hotspot comes in kind of like a handy box. It's not too big, especially if you also see the boxes for the Nebra Helium Outdoor hotspots that I will show you in another video in a couple of days as well, since we ordered those as well. But it's really quite handy and yeah, like nothing special about it. Yeah, like cheap packaging so far. And yeah, like I think there's really nothing to point out here. Now I'm gonna open this sweet box for all of you guys. I'm gonna look inside. Now, first of all, there's apparently a shipping label, although it's a shipping label that points out my delivery address. So it's not a return label that you could use for returns, but it's actually a shipping label that's addressed to me. I don't know why it's in the box, but yeah, that's the case. Second of all, there seems to be some booklet hidden, hidden here in the top. Let's try to get this out real quick. Okay, so it's a getting started guide. It has an image of the hotspot and other than that, it has, uh, oh yeah, cool. So it has when you set up your wallet so you can write down your mnemonic phrase so you don't forget it and QR codes to download the app for setting it up. And I'm gonna put that back here for now since we don't need that. And close, close, close. Sorry, by the way, for the box noise that you might hear as well. And let's take this rubber thing or whatever it is off to look at the rest. Now what we can see here, we have a box for the power supply. We have the hotspot itself, which looks surprisingly similar to every Raspberry Pi case that you might have seen or owned in the past. And we have our antenna here. Now we can pull out the antenna from here and pretty much it's not nothing special here. So this is the antenna that makes the earning possible. So for the Helium LoRaWAN network. And I'm gonna put that back as well. And gonna get the hotspot itself. And there is some rubber thing that flew off. Okay, it was the, the cap, protective cap that's on the antenna socket. So as you can see, it's a quite compact cube and it has basically the power plug on one side, the network wire plug on the other, and then the socket or whatever the right English word is for mounting the antenna. And that's pretty much all there is combined with another QR code here, which probably also helps you download the Helium app. So that's all the magic there is to it, to the hotspot. And besides that, the only other thing left in that magic box would be the power supply which surprisingly has a big box considering that the hotspot itself is that small. And this is actually not the typical Raspberry Pi power supply because when we look at the wire, this seems to be USB type C, so or Thunderbolt, so like the same wire or connector type that for example, all new MacBooks have. Whereas the Raspberry Pis, I, I mean, I haven't checked Raspberry Pi 4, but the Freebie Plus, for example, all have micro USB slots. But that doesn't really matter because the only thing that really matters is that everything that you need to start your own Helium hotspot comes with that small box. So what you have to do basically is plug that thing in, open the Helium app on your phone, it will connect via Bluetooth to the hotspot, and you can then basically finish the setup of the hotspot and just put it on your windowsill or somewhere else. If you wanna boost your earnings, however, you could also consider getting different antennas or getting an outdoor antenna and then basically drilling a hole through your wall to get the antenna wire indoors to the hotspot or buying the outdoor casing to put the hotspot inside and so on. So there's a lot of ways, but in general to get started and to start earning your first helium, it's actually it couldn't be any easier to be honest. Now I'm sure some of you are curious about the actual setup steps as well. And I promise that I will make a separate video that will show the setup of the hotspot itself. I might not be able to record how I plug it in, but I mean, that's honestly really, really straightforward. And I can at least take a few pictures that I then use in that video, but I will at least be able to record the setup from the app perspective. So what you need to do within the Helium app to get your Cultchip hotspot set up and running. So you start earning Helium. As mentioned earlier, don't forget, we also got ourselves Nebra outdoor hotspots. I'm still waiting for two small packages, like additional tools or things 
needed or recommended to actually set them up. And we're also still waiting for some replies from the customer service there. So the unboxing video for the Nebra hotspots might still take a couple of days or maybe a week. But I can already promise that there will be also an unboxing video for the Nebra outdoor hotspot and a setup video that also includes all the additional parts that you might need depending on where you set up the hotspot that are not included when you actually buy the Nebra hotspot. And that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't forget, you can always leave them in the comments down below, or even better, if you check the description or the first pinned comment down below, you can also find a link to our Discord community where we have a separate Helium channel so you can discuss Helium, the Helium hotspots, and other projects as well with me and the community there. Thanks for watching, see you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.